Yan. Okay. Ipipresent ko yung module na mismo. Actually, wala na tong ano eh, wala na tong lecture eh, yung art app natin ngayon. Uh, task explanation na lang talaga to eh. Tapos magbibigay na lang ako, magpapapanood na lang ako ng examples na parang gawin yung guide. Yung, yung module na to, yung pang finals na natin, yung project, babaguhin natin kasi ano eh, nung tiningnan ko siya, actually nun ko pa to dinideside eh. Nung tiningnan ko siya, parang ano eh, may hirapan yung ilan sa inyo or yung iba sa inyo. Pero kung kung kaya naman na mag-video edit at meron kayong Filmora apps or di kaya may, may mga uh, kung iMovie man lang or, or di kaya kahit Final Cut Pro na apps, oh, sige, okay lang, walang problema, yun ang isubmit nyo. Pero uh, explain ko muna yung buong task and then explain ko yung revision ko na pwede nyo isubmit ganito na lang and then i-allow natin na mag-submit kayo depende kung ano yung yung hinihingi ng module or kung susundin niyo na lang yung revision ko na mas pinadali ko na lang okay so ganun na lang ang gagawin natin so uh, himayin natin yung apps ay yung apps sorry yung yung task so weeks na yan kasi ngayon for continuation lang yan ng week 5 bali pang 2 weeks yung Week 4 and week 5 talaga. So, iisang task lang yun. So, ang week 6 natin, yan na yung pinaka-project ninyo. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito yung reason kung bakit uh, nung week 1 pa lang natin, sinasabi ko na, na meron kayong portfolio na gagawin na parang uh, iipunin nyo lahat ng mga ginawa ninyo, iipunin nyo lahat ng mga photos, mga art, mga pang-exhibit ninyo para nang sa ganun, pagdating sa project, yun ang gagamitin natin. Yun, ang, yun ang kasi yung nakikita kong idea na in lieu of the the task na nakasaad dito. Okay? Nakikita nyo naman yung screen ko. Tama? Tama ba? Yes, bro. Hello? Okay, so, week 6, art appreciation na task na gagawin natin. Ibig sabihin, ito na yung pinaka-final task. Ito na yung project natin. Okay? So, ang nakalagay dito, view some samples on how to make digital art portfolio. Magpapapanood ako sa inyo mamaya. Write down the steps and apply it to your own project. You may search for other apps, tools, or applications that are compatible with your gadget. Remember that creativity makes the art stand out from others. Below are some of the, the samples. Ito. Ito, um, upload ko na lang to sa Facebook group natin at sa Google Classroom natin. So, ayan yung mga isang example. Tapos, ang gamit dito, Adobe Portfolio. Actually, pwede nga yung Google Slides eh. Yung parang PowerPoint ng Google. Pwede rin yun eh. Iaalaw ko yun eh. Pero, puntahan muna natin yung mga example na pinipresent nitong module. So, nakalagay dito, Adobe Portfolio, ang isang um, uh, apps na pwede nating gamitin. So, Ang gagawin dyan, meron siyang tutorial dito na pwede niyong basahin kung paano siya ginagawa using the Adobe Portfolio apps. So, um, ang mangyayari dyan, pwede niyong gawin to, pwede niyong gayahin to, yung sinasaad ng task. Or kung, again, katulad ng sinabi ko, kung meron kayong Filmora, kung meron kayong Lightroom, kung meron kayong iMovie, iMovie is free. Kung meron nakamak sa inyo, uh, Final Cut Pro, medyo mahal. Nasa 16,000 yung isang apps nun eh. Lalo na yung FCPX. Nasa 20,000 plus yun eh. Okay? So, nakalagay din dito, gagawa ng web page yun eh. Doon ako medyo na ano eh. Although yung web page madali lang naman gawin. Pero naiintindihan natin na, na hindi lahat ay merong PC, hindi lahat ay merong computer, hindi lahat maganda yung smartphone. Kaya nga, merong alternative ba kung ibibigay na lang sana? Uh, supposedly, dapat ganito dapat yung task ninyo. So, ayan yung mga yung tutorial niya kung paano gawin yung web, web art portfolio using Adobe, Adobe, um, uh, Adobe Portfolio na apps. Okay? Yan. Yan. Okay? So, i-upload ko to para meron kayong guide. Yan. 
Or, ito naman, you can make your own hard copy art portfolio containing all the collection of the tasks, output, or milestone inside. You can reuse materials available like magazines, outdated books to design your portfolio. Be, resource, be resourceful, be creative, and avoid spending much. Yan. So, bakit ba? Bakit ba tinuro ng, ng module to? Kasi ganito yung module ng art app eh. So, bakit ba? Kasi ang final output nyo is... Produce your final output by creating a web portfolio or a scrapbook. Follow the guidelines below. So, yun ang pinaka-project niya. Pero ang suggestion nitong module, hindi nga suggestion, ang sinasabi ng module, kailangan um, you will use certain apps para makaproduce ng ganong klaseng output. A web art, uh, web art portfolio, use any apps or application for your web portfolio. Showcase of the best work, putting the best work first and putting a, lead, a title that is unique and interesting. You might even want to display some of your early drafts alongside the final work. So, ibig sabihin yung mga raw, raw materials na ginamit ninyo, raw footages, raw pictures, raw photos, nasa inyo yun, pwede nyo siyang ilagay, parang ito yung before, ganun ang magiging uh, uh, inclusion ng portfolio ninyo. Okay? So once you have finalized your web portfolio, check your output again sa final output rubric. Hindi na kailangan no need. Basta, basta sa akin, hindi ko din disregard ang rubric. Ang sa akin lang kasi, ina, nag, kailangan natin maging adaptable, lalo na sa pandemic. Katulad ng sinabi ko, hindi lahat ng mga students ay merong kakayahan na katulad ng ibang students. Hindi lahat maganda yung PC nila, hindi maganda, hindi lahat pare-paras kayo ng rig, hindi lahat Maganda yung laptop, hindi lahat may laptop, hindi lahat maganda yung smartphone, hindi lahat merong smartphone, merong nangihiram lang. So kaya, kaya nga ang gagawin natin, babaguhin natin. Again, uulitin ko ha, paulit-ulit ko sinasabi to. Kung susundin nyo itong yung sa task, walang problema. Kung ano yung sinasabi ng, mod ng module, walang problema. Pero kung, kung gagawa kayo ng iba, katulad nitong isasuggest ko, okay lang. Ito yung suggestion ko. Kung gusto nyo na gumawa ng parang PowerPoint presentation lang using Google Slides, fine. Walang problema sa akin. So, yung parang pinipresent nyo lang yung parang exhibit ninyo. Yung, yung kumbaga, parang may web page kayo, halimbawa, pinipresent nyo sa first slide, yun yung web page title, second slide, yun yung, yun yung content ng web page ninyo. Uh, third slide, ito na yung yung team ng exhibit ninyo, ng portfolio ninyo. Exhibit or port portfolio, pwede. And then, andito yung mga materials na nilagay mo, mga pictures na ilalagay nyo. Pwede sa akin yun. Kung yun lang ang kayang isubmit, walang problema, hindi tayo magmaminus sa grades. Okay? Kung, kung mas, mas maganda yun, mas madali. Eh. So, again, kung Google Slides ang, ang gagamitin nyo, fine. Kung gagamit kayo ng talagang sanay naman kayo mag-video edit or gusto nyo ma-practice yung sarili nyo sa pag-video edit, wala rin problema mag-video edit kayo. Okay? So kung Google Slides or uh, video edit, fine. Or web page, fine. Kung web page yung sinabit mo, video edit yung sinabit mo, medyo malaki yan. Ang usapan natin, i-comment natin dun sa Facebook group, baka hindi kumasya. Ia-allow ko ang link ngayon, pagka week 6. So, lalagay ako ng submission post sa Facebook group natin. Then, basta i-share nyo sa akin. Kasi baka hindi naka-share sa akin yan. Pag-click ko, kailangan ko pang mag-request. Diba? So, share nyo kagad sa akin. Uh, ibibigay ko yung email address ko kagad doon sa post mismo. Okay? Hindi ko pinapa-email, ha? Again, hindi ko pinapa-email. Click nyo yung, yung link nyo, kakapi nyo, yun ang i-comment nyo doon sa submission post ko sa Facebook group natin. Okay? Magpo-post na ako, pe-present ko rin yung post ko doon sa Facebook group natin para nang sa ganun, alam nyo, kung sa inyo i-comment. Okay? Sir, sabi dito may hard copy ng art portfolio. Huwag na magdodoble pa. Okay na yung link sa akin. Walang problema doon. Okay? Well, again, walang problema doon. Okay na yung link sa akin as your project. Pwede na yun. 
syempre, hindi na tayo magbe-burden ng kung ano nun pa total. Yung art app naman na intindihan naman natin eh. Ayon dun sa new lecture natin, how we appreciate art, yung different kinds of art, paano natin dapat i-appreciate. Say for example, sa music, paano ba natin ma-appreciate sa hindi lang sa melody, hindi lang sa rhythm. Mas importante yung content, yung lyrics ng song. Kano natin nga appreciate yan. Ngayon, paano mo rin ma-appreciate yung genre ng mga music, hindi rin dahil sa uso ngayon yung K-pop, kundi kung ano talaga yung nakaka-suit ng mind mo, ng heart mo, nakaka-replenish ng soul mo, meron kang problema, makinig ka ng music, anong music yung mga sinadjust natin ng lecture, na yun ang nakaka-suit sa'yo, fine, ma-appreciate na natin yung music. Paano ba tayo manunood ng mga movies na na pwede nating ma-appreciate dun sa parang kwento ng buhay natin. So, alam nyo naman na eh. Kaya nga, kumbaga, uh, gift, parang pamasko ko na lang din siguro sa inyo, parang ganun. So, gift ko na lang sa inyo na, okay, kahit uh, kung, kung nahihirapan na video presentation yan, or di kaya, Yeah, sa sa NPC yan. Basta i-comment nyo na lang yung link ng Google Slides. Doon sa, doon sa Facebook group natin, ala ko meron nag-e-enter. Doon sa um, Facebook group natin, okay na sa akin yun. Wala nang problem. Okay? Tapos, meron dito nakalagay course evaluation. Kiklik nyo lang yan. Ipopost ko to ha. Ikiklik nyo lang yan. Okay? And then, lahat kayo kailangan nyo mag-answer dyan. Survey lang yan. Okay, survey lang yan, yung nakalagay dito. Nakita nyo to course evaluation? Tama ba? Nakikita nyo? Hello? Apo. Yes, po. Okay, so, ito, i-highlight ko, ah. Ito. Yan. Kiklik nyo lang yung kulay blue na yan. Yan. Yung highlighted na yan. Yan. Click nyo lang yung blue na yan. May lalabas na Google Form. Sagutan nyo lang yung survey form. Okay? Ipopost ko na lang ko na lang yun. Okay? So again, um, para doon sa mga benefit nung iba na hindi nakaka-attend ng sync meet, lalo na yung mga correspondence modality, pakirelay na lang sa kanila na puntahan yung Facebook group natin at magpo-post ako ng video lecture for today na nakalagay dito sa ito. C2 NPC. Yan. Wait lang ha. Yan. Dito ko siya i-update palagi. Yan. Itong post ko ng November 3, kung mapapansin mo, dati isang link lang yan. Tama? Correct? Mga misara at saka miss. Ngayon, tingnan nyo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 links na. Mamaya pang anim na yung link na susunod na ipopost ko rito, ipipaste ko rito. Explanation yon ng task ngayon, yung lecture mismo na yon. So, bisitahin nyo lang palagi ito lahat ng nakakaligta or nakakamiss ng mga lecture natin. Bisitahin nyo lang to Nandito na yung sagot sa mga katanungan ninyo. Pakisabi doon sa mga correspondence modalities, eto lang bibisitahin yung November 3 na post ko. Andiyan na lahat ng sagot sa tanong nila. And then, submit na lang na submit as comment dito sa mga submission post na to. Okay? Tapos, ngayon, ito post ko na to. Wait lang. Ito. Wait lang ah. Yan. So, kinapi ko na. Lalagay, nyo, lalagay ko na ngayon dito. Okay, yung title nun is Submission Post for Project. Wait lang. Submission Post for Project. Click. Okay. Tapos i-attach ko na lang yung file. 
Touch ko yung file, ito yun, week 6. Big six. Ayan. Okay? So, ayan na. Okay, na-open ko na lang sa Google Classroom, mami. Tagal. So, ayan na. Okay? So, ina-upload na, pinopost na. Okay? Tapos, Panuorin nyo na lang to isang example to kung paano gumawa ng isang virtual art gallery. Hello art students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual art gallery using Google Slides. First, give your slideshow a title. You're only going to need to make one slide, but you could make more if you want multiple rooms. I'm going to start a new one for you. Begin by choosing a background. Click on background, then choose image. And you're going to type in the Google image search wall and floor background. You will see multiple examples to choose from. Choose the one that you want for the background of your art gallery. If you plan on placing a lot of artwork on the wall of your art gallery, make sure you have plenty of wall space by choosing a room with a low horizon line. Click insert to insert your background and then you are ready to move on to adding furniture and frames to your art gallery. Click insert image and go to search the web. You will see an area pop up on the right side that you can search in and I have typed in frame transparent because what I'm looking for are some picture frames that have a transparent background that I can place on the wall and then later put my own images of my artwork into the frames. When you insert an item, you can also change its size and you can change its color. To change the color, click on format options and then on the right under recolor, you're going to click on the color that you would like to change it to. Next, I'm going to add a sofa to the floor of my art gallery. So again, I'll go to insert and choose photo from web, and then I will type in sofa transparent. I'll choose the sofa that I want, and I'll click insert to insert it into my art gallery. And then again, I can change the color if I wish to. I can also change the size. I could flip it horizontally so that I change the direction that my sofa is facing and I could move it anywhere I want in the space of my art gallery. Next, I'm going to show you how to add in a pedestal, which would be great to put a three-dimensional sculpture on. Again, I'm going to go to insert, search the web, and I'm going to search for pedestal transparent background. You might notice that even though it says transparent background, some of these pedestals do not actually have a transparent background. And this is what happens and what it looks like if you include an object without a transparent background. There are ways to remove the background from images and I will show you that later. But for now, I'm just going to search the web and find a different pedestal. You can see there are plenty to choose from and I find another here. Click insert and then resize it to fit. In total, I'd like you to include, at minimum, five works of art in your art gallery. Though you could include more than that as well. And if you'd like, you could have additional rooms by making additional slides. Each of your picture frames could be different if you'd like, or one shortcut is to copy and paste from the first frame that you inserted. You can also change the dimensions on your frame and make it portrait or landscape style to fit whatever image you plan on putting into your frame. Now, speaking of putting images into your frame, you will need to copy and then paste from your original artwork completed during the school year and insert it into your frames. Then drag the frame to fit your artwork. Watch as I paste in another work of art. So I'm going to need to make this picture smaller. To do so, I drag it inward from the corner of the image only. Watch again, from the corner only, I drag it in so that the proportions of my original 
photograph of this banana do not change. I then will move the frame from the frame around the banana to make it fit the banana image. Next, I'm going to show you a really cool and free website for removing the background of your images, and this could be great for sculptures. The website is remove.bg. Once in the website, you will either upload or paste a copy of your image, and then it will bring it up and will have removed the background for you. Now, sometimes you have to edit it a bit, so click edit, and then you'll have the option to erase or restore. You can change the brush size to make this go as fast as necessary. So in this case, I'm going to erase the hand and just clean it up a little bit so that then my final image is only of this sculpture. From here, I'll download the picture and then in Google Slides, I can insert the photo from the file on my computer. In this case, the sculpture fits perfectly on my pedestal and I can resize it as needed. The remove.bg website is also a great tool for personalizing your art gallery. So if you want to include something like an image of your pet on the floor of your art gallery, you could actually do that using this website. Now, in your art gallery, you're going to need some kind of sign that welcomes people to your personal gallery and includes your name and the year. So I'm going to search for an easel with a transparent background, and I'm actually choosing this one here that looks like a chalkboard. Then I can insert text and type in my name and the year. Next, to personalize my art gallery even more, I'm going to add a bitmoji of myself sitting on the couch. It's very easy to do this, but you do need to first download the Bitmoji Chrome extension. So search for that first, and then once you access that and log in and find the Bitmoji you want, you just copy and then paste it into your slide. Spend some time playing with the color of your objects. You can also add some decorations, maybe some plants or some flowers. Also, play with the fonts of your text. And just remember that you are an artist creating an art gallery to show your art. So you want it to be visually appealing. One more thing you might want to consider adding is some form of speech bubble or thought bubble. You can see that I did this here in my original example. To do this, you just go up to insert and then down to shape and you will see that there are call outs and you can pick any style that you want and add that into your picture. Then you'll just go up to add text and then you'll be able to write whatever you want your Bitmoji to be saying. So let's now review what you must include in your virtual art gallery. You must include a background that has a wall and a floor. You must include at least five works of art made by you during the school year. And those five works of art should have also been submitted to your teacher. You must include some kind of sign that includes your name and the year on it. And you should try to include some kind of decoration or personal details. These could include furniture, bitmojis, or anything that you come up with. I hope you have a really great time creating your virtual art gallery. And just so that you know, we're going to be combining the slides from multiple students and sharing this publicly. So make yours pop. Okay, hello. Nagets na? Kung paano? Hello? Anybody? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, tandaan nyo ha, ang Google Slides or ang web art no, hindi maglalagay lang kayo ng mga photos sa slides. Hindi lang maglalagay kayo ng mga collage sa every, sa every slides. Kung say for example, two slides lang yan or di kaya five slides yan or di kaya ten slides yan. Hindi yung lagay lang kayo ng lagay. Ang gagawin nyo, papalabasin nyo na parang pumapa, yung makakapanood, yung makakakita ng Google Slides nyo, pag clinic yan, yung link na yan, pagkita niya, parang pumapasok siya sa isang uh, art exhibit na merong entrance, merong ganun na nakalagay na welcome, tapos meron na kagad mga art doon, tapos sa second slide, parang papalabasin nyo, second room yun, ganun ang... Dar ganun ang Magiging ano, merong, merong bar, may cafeteria na, na pwedeng 
uh, kumuha-kuha ng mga finger foods or drinks, ganyan, or baka merong waiter na pe- pwedeng magbigay-bigay ng ng mga drinks. So, so gano'n ang gagawin ninyo. Hindi yung basta-basta nagdidikit lang kayo. So, parang papalabasin nyo na virtual na pumapasok kami doon sa gal- gallery nyo, sa art gallery nyo. Okay? So, gano'n ang magiging uh, gagawin Ang isa, okay? isang suggestion din. Panuorin nyo na lang. Hello, Bishop. Welcome. I can finally show you all how to make a website or art portfolio, especially for those of you who are interested in eventually getting recruited onto a project or if you have customers that you want to sell your art to. So today, I would like to thank because Wix was actually the site where I created my first website that got me hired at my animation job. So let's dive in today's video and just make an awesome website that will get you that job or get you that paycheck or get you that whatever it is you want in life. Sorry for the banging in the background. You can use the link in the description box below to start building your website. Okay, so today I'm going to show you all how to make a general art portfolio website and I feel like this might be more beneficial since not everyone who follows me exactly wants to be a storyboard artist and I've also been meaning to make a general portfolio slash website of my social media related stuff for a while. So one of the first things you need to do after you create a Wix account is choosing a template. This is a part where I feel like some artists sometimes get carried away choosing some over the top template, but that's not always necessary. Like, yes, I can see how some industries will care about how you showcase your portfolio and work online, but in a scenario where you don't know where to begin, just make sure that your work is clear because no one is really going to want to sit through a website that is difficult to navigate no matter how pretty or cool it is. So this template, the artist template, is actually pretty cute and it's simple but also charming. For a general artist portfolio, I feel like this template is a good mix of that straightforwardness with a pinch of cuteness. Okay, so after you choose your template, you're going to be brought over to this website editor page where you can really write however much you want to your liking, which is one great thing. So Wix is it's literally kind of like Photoshop for website creation, so it's kind of like a little artist's haven. You can really customize things to anything that you want, like from the font to the background to just little nuances about the pages. I feel like Wix is really good with keeping in mind. So one of the first things I'm going to update is my banner, because recently I actually just updated my banner for all of my platforms and Wix is going to be another one of them that's going to be including it. So on the left side, there's going to be all of these bars and this plus button over here where we can actually import our you So and crop it and just resize it to our liking. So after you create your banner, one of the next parts is going to be creating the menu bar, which is always going to be pre-existing in the templates that you choose, but you can really customize it to your preference. However, I really just like how simple this menu bar is. So in a way, I'm going to kind of preserve its design for now until I come across something else like a new font. For now, we're just going to rearrange the menu bar pages to things that I can see myself placing on my website. Oh my god, I just drooled. <laughs> so afterwards, we're going to actually start going into each page and, you know, putting some stuff in there. So one of the first things I guess I'll work on is my Etsy shop because I feel like one of the great things about Wix is you can just include apps on your website. So you can literally just connect Etsy's shop app to Wix. So that's what I did. You can also go on the top right search bar and just write in things that you're looking for, like your Etsy shop or something. And all you have to do is just go in and do the customization to the buttons, the colors, or how you want some of the stuff rearranged, which honestly is an artist's haven because all I have to do is just think about colors and design and we're good. 
And another one that you can do with connecting apps to your Wix site is your Instagram, which is another great thing because I don't have to go back in and add in all of my comics one by one. I can just literally connect Instagram to my Wix site. So you can do the same thing where you just search in the search bar Instagram and then choose it and add it to your site. And all you have to do is click on the settings and just rearrange it however you want. Not and it will just showcase so your Instagram feed just like how it shows it on your actual Instagram page. This would be really helpful as an artist, That's especially if you want to showcase your social media site without having to be like, redirecting people click on this button below to see my instagram yeah, whereas yeah. here you can just literally have your instagram as another one of your pages so after connecting my etsy shop and my instagram another one that i want to include is my youtube channel because i really feel like my draw with me's would you know really have a nice place on the site so just like the etsy shop and your instagram you can also have another app that will help add in your YouTube playlists or channels. And I don't think that YouTube really has an app on this, but there is a Wix video app that you can look up and then there you can go add it to your site. And again, you can manage and rearrange the videos by just literally copying and pasting a playlist. So I had to create a playlist of all of my draw with me's. And then after I created that playlist, I copy and pasted the link from YouTube onto the Wix video app. And then from then on, you can just, again, rearrange how you want to order these videos. One thing that I honestly feel with videos is you just need to do it a straight down, give every video its time to shine. Because one thing about videos is all the blobs of thumbnails surrounding it so I just prefer honestly having a very straightforward line of videos so that we're not clustered with the other thumbnails around it and I would suggest this too for anyone who has an animation reel or wants to post videos of their animations so seeing that my sketchbook is going to be the first page of this website i'm going to finally go back to it after i got a sense of how i like rearranging the other pages because it's kind of like you want to make the first page that someone sees appealing but you also want to make sure that it's not overly overwhelming to the point that they don't want to sit on your website anymore because they're just too many options. So I scanned in all of my sketchbook pages and I'm gonna rearrange them in a way that I feel like is straightforward but still can afford some room to hide the ones that I don't feel like I love as much. So, so there's an option on Wix where you can arrange your gallery in a way where you can have them as different types of collages and I personally like the one where you can have large image and then groups of just smaller images but it's not so small to the point where you can't see it it kind of reminds me of tumblr in a way so i pretty much organize my sketchbook pages in a way where my favorite ones will be the largest ones and then the ones that i don't feel as strongly about i will put them in a smaller thumbnail form because it's not that i don't love them it's just i feel like there's nothing about it that would loved as the other featured sketchbook pages. So after I set that up, I'm going to go set up my resume. And honestly, setting up your resume, you can import your own resume if you want to. But I personally just want to make this resume kind of match the overall theme of this website. So I really like how this resume is already set up. So I'm honestly just going to copy and paste my own information and replace it. So again, sorry to this previous artist, but I'm going to have to erase all of your history. So another thing that I really like that you can add on your Wix site is your social media bubbles. So you can choose the icons that resemble the types of platforms that you actually have and include it along with your either about section or your resume section. And for this one, I'll include it on my resume. So you can choose the different types of icons that really suit your style and include it. And after that, I'm going to just really copy and paste my professional information that honestly is just from LinkedIn. 
for me personally, I don't really feel like we need to overly specify every step of what we've worked on on every project. I know on the standard typical resume, they would say put three bullet points of your experience at this job. But honestly, for my industry or if you're working in some art field, you don't really need to go over the top with describing every single thing you've ever worked on in this project. You can just be very vague, especially for me. I have a lot of NDA projects that are still not really released, so I can't really talk about it much. I can really just talk about it within one sentence and give a very vague overview of what it is. But what's important for my employers to know, at least, is that I was storyboarding at the studio. And then at the end, you can include your education if you want to. Sorry, this is not a resume building portfolio, but maybe I can do another one next time. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple and whatever is necessary for really completing this website. Okay, so finally, the about page. Honestly, I hate doing the about page because it's just like, ugh, why do I have to talk about myself when I'm already showing you all of my inner thoughts and feelings through my artwork, but whatever. I feel like it's nice to just know who the artist is behind the work sometimes. So I like to keep mine brief and casual. I like to just say, hi, my name is Michelle. This is what I do, and here's what I do for fun. So honestly, your about page can also be very simple. Some people like to merge their about pages with their resumes. You can briefly add in ways for people to contact you. Like, I'm not going to include my address or phone number on this site because um, people are watching me create it right now. So yeah, I will again include my social media buttons because if people did not catch it on the resume section, they can catch it on the about page and they can follow me there. So lastly, I'm just going to go back and pretty much do a lot of, um, what is it, refining to every page where I'm just going to add a little headline on each of it and be like, my comments, my videos, my shop, blah, 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 and just add in the social media icon again so that they can catch me there because I feel like it is really essential for people to just be aware that I have places beyond this website that I post my stuff on and this is kind of just like and this is just kind of more like the headquarters for you know here's my main site but I'm going to redirect you to all the other places that I create stuff on. This important part because I feel like a lot of people will forget about it. Remember that you should always edit your site on a mobile version as well and Wix has that readily available for you up there on the top left section in this little small mobile app icon. So the reason why this is important is because we live in a day and age where everyone is on their phones or tablets and no one really sits on a desktop computer as much as they so if an employer or someone is looking at your site, but they're just casually looking at it during their lunch break, which, you know, sometimes is actually the case, they're probably just going to scroll through your website on their phone. And if they see that it's a hot mess, no one is going to want to sit through it. So remember to make sure to make your mobile app as appealing as your desktop. And I know that mobile versions can be a little bit more limiting than your actual website, but just make sure that it's clear as day if you can't make it look nice. Like this video section is kind of really struggling to fit into this little white box in, inside, but, but even though I can't really resize it, at least I can just keep it straightforward and just keep it with the scrolling down option instead of having it as a conglomerate of thumbnails. There's also a cuter menu bar that you can add on the top left. They just have that mobile version of the menu bar. Website, you can finally public top right because that's the button that's really going to release your website to the world. So yeah, this is actually really fun to create. This is my sketchbook page. And then on the comics page, I, I pretty much just put up my Instagram and it was very easy to do. And then I have my videos page for any of you who might have demo reels or animation reels or just places to showcase your animated or video work. And then I hooked up my Etsy shop as well. Resumes are also important because people want to know where you have previously worked. So I think that is good to include. And if 
you want to include your social media bubbles, again, I think that's great for if you want to show people wherever else you are online. Then lastly, my about page. Just very simple, just introducing myself. And then, of course, there's going to be the mobile version. So make sure, again, that you do a version on the mobile editing. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Anyway, I hope this video helped some of you all with whatever it is that you are trying to Oh, hello. Nandiyan pa kayo? Naririnig niyo ako? Hello? Anybody? Yes, yes. Okay, so yun naman yung pang web page. Yes, po. So, yes, if I were you, okay na yung Google Slides. Yun na lang yung, gamitin, yung gawin ninyo. Okay? Tapos, ang gagawin natin bukas, magkikwiz is tayo. Ang coverage ng quiz is, may idea na kayo sa quiz is, correct? Kasi paboritong uh, quiz platform ng NPC faculty yan eh. Tama? Nag-quiz is na kayo sa ibang mga subjects nyo, correct? Tama ba? Na-encounter nyo na quiz is? Hello? Anybody? Quiz is? Quiz. Yes po. Yes po. Yan. Ito. Yan, di ba? Yan, yung quiz is. So, magaganyan tayo bukas. Sir, recorded ba yan? Kasi sabi nyo nun, wala namang written exam eh. Hindi to recorded. So, hindi ko i-record yung score ninyo. Pero meron kayong paglalabanan dito. Yung magta-top 3 sa quiz is bukas, hindi nagagawa ng project, exempted na. Okay? So, reviewin nyo lang yung mga previous slides natin, yung mga previous lecture natin. Andun lang naman ako kukuha ng mga ng mga questions. 15 questions lang yan lahat-lahat. So madali lang multiple choice pa lahat yan. Okay? So may katanungan ba tungkol sa project? Anybody? May gustong i-clarify? Anybody here? Gusto mag-clarify? Na confuse ganyan. Anybody? Hello? Oh, none po. Oh, none daw. Calling once, twice, thrice. Wala. Okay. Regarding sa quiz is, meron bang concern doon? Yung tukol sa exemption? Anybody here? Wala naman. So, top three. Ang kukunin natin bukas yung magta-top three. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-week six. Okay na yun. Okay? So, bukas yan. So, mag-review kayo. Okay? So, sir, any other sir. concerns? Yes, go ahead, Miss Joanna. Um, go ahead. Hindi po, may tanong po ata si Miss Mariana. Sige, go ahead. Question? Ay, ito pala, sir. Yung groupings po ba kami mamimili? Wala po. Grouping saan? Grouping saan yon, Miss Mariano? Ako tuloy yung na-confuse. <laughs> Grouping saan? Ay, hindi individual yan. Yung sa week 6, individual yan. Kanya-kanyang gawaan yan, hindi groupings. Kaya nga sabi ko, Google Slides na lang eh, para mas madali. <laughs> o, oh, di ba nga ni-revise ko lahat ng mo, yung final module natin dahil nakalagay nga doon video presentation eh. Yung parang gagamit ka pa ng video editing apps. Individual to, madali lang, Google Slides lang para matutunan nyo rin gumawa ng Google Slides. Okay? So, individual project to, Google Slides. Okay? So, any other concern? Sir? Yes, go ahead. Yung sa week, yung sa week 4 and 5 po. Ano yung sa week 4 and 5? Picture lang po ba yung i-comment? Or i-explain ko? making New soul making Yes po. Kung ano yung output mong na-derive at doon, picturean mo or screenshot mo, yun ang i-comment mo doon sa comment section, sa comment thread. Hindi siya file. Okay? Dito lang ako mag-aalaw ng file sa week 6. But the rest ng mga weeks natin, puro yan photo or screenshot ng mga gawa ninyo. I-comment. Okay? O, questions pa? Anything else? Anybody else?
Anybody? Calling once, twice, thrice. Oh, nandaw sabi ni Mr. Gatdula. So, hindi na need to explain yung, sorry, yung four and five. Hindi, uh, uh, hindi nyo ako na-gets. Hindi nyo ako na-gets. Yung soul making, natural may photo yon and then may explanation, di ba? Ang sinabi kong screenshot or photo nung, nung output ninyo, kung ano yung gawa nyo. Say, for example, merong caption yon or merong uh, brief explanation yon Pipicture nyo yun, syempre. Eh, yun ang ilalagay nyo doon. Di ba? Yun ang ikocomment nyo doon sa comment section nung soul making. Okay? Kaya ang sinabing screenshot and photo, kasi ganun, ganun ako magpasubmit. Di ba? Hindi, hindi as file. So, syempre, meron kang sinulat-sulat dyan, picturean mo yung sinulat-sulat mo, or kung ayaw picturean, screenshot mo, and then yun ang ikocomment mo doon. Okay? At ang pagsagot doon, um, caption ng pangalan mo, complete name mo, hindi yung Facebook name mo, and then section mo, cycle 2, and then replyan mo yung sarili mo, doon mo ilagay yung photo, then reply, doon mo ilagay yung comment yung mga lagay yung explanation. Okay? Or yung interpretation. Okay? O questions pa? Anything else? Anybody else? Calling once? Sir, sa week 4 po ba kanya-kanyang issue? Or environmental oh. issue po? Hindi. Kung ano yung, kung ano yung film mong isol making. Yan. Kung, kung ano yung gusto mo, kung ano gusto mong feel na soul making art, kung, bu, kung para sa pag-ibig mo, sige, go. Kasi yung may suggestion dun eh, yung parang sa ecological concern. Kung ano yung man yung naiisip mo, as, kung, kung baga para sa'yo, yung sa sarili mo, yan. Yung gusto mong gawing art, okay yan. Okay? O, questions pa? Anything else? Anybody else? Calling once, twice, thrice. Okay, if none, let us pray. Lord God, maraming maraming salamat po sa lesson po na pagkakalob niyo po sa amin ngayon. Pero po, itang talino, lakas at inawa po sa lahat po ng mga subjects na aming Panginoon. Uh, uh, wala, lahat po ng mga wala po ngayon, Panginoon, pinapanalangin po namin, makapili na po namin sila sa susunod pa po. We pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, thank you. Salamat. Thank you, sir. Mm -mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po, sir.